Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to use searching to help find related items. What I mean by this is, for example, searching for tasks that belong to an incident. Uh, you could also search for journals and things of that nature. Now there may be times when you want to use this maybe later on for a report or you may want to make a dashboard widget. Um, and they're all driven by this um, search that we're going to create. So the first thing I've done is I've opened my rich client and I've simply hit the search under the incident. Now this is going to show me all incidents whether they're open or closed. Now the first thing I want to show you is to do searching, edit the current search and that's going to bring us up where um, with a basic find me all incident. Now, we're going to hit the drop down beside the word new, and we're going to do a related clause because uh, we're using the relationship uh, incident owns tasks. Um, that was defaulted because I had looked at it, but incident owns tasks, you want to go through and find it. Um, in my case, it's at the very bottom of the list here. And then we're going to say where there is at least one task. We do that. And we're going to come back with 22 records. Now we know that these closed incidents have no open task because Sharewell out of the box will not allow an incident to close if there's an open task. Well now we want to see um, all incidents that have an open task. Not just a task, but a task that is open. So we'll go in here to our searching and edit our current search again and making sure that we're on the there is at least one task line not here but here we're going to do a new and this is just going to be a comparison clause so if we just hit new it gives us a new comparison the task status is not equal to closed and we're going to go from 22 records to 10 records so that's how you can use the searching edit current search to do that. But how do you build that search so that you can use it for a report or use it for a dashboard widget? Or if you're going to use it for a dashboard or if you're going to use it for a report, you want to come to the incident association. And again, I like to use view details. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this demo. Then we'll go into the demo folder and we'll build the new search. That search is going to be called open tasks or incidents with open tasks. Now I'm sure there's an out-of-the-box uh, search already set up for this um, and you can look at that to figure out how to do this but you can follow the video here and be able to build it yourself. So instance where all of the following are true we're going to delete this because we need our comparison or related clause first. Incident zones tasks, again, click the drop down and select it. And then there is at least one task, then a new comparison clause while this is highlighted. And that's going to be where the task status not equal to closed. We'll save that save that and now we have the same 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it would look like if we did this differently so we're going to uh, just call this demo for now. Again we're going to delete the new comparison so again related clause incident on task where there is at least one task then we're going to highlight this and we're going to go new and notice we're on the incident because we are still at this level and that is at the instant association. Now we can come down here 
and we will not see task because it's not um, doesn't have focus it's not the current object that we're on so that's why um, I keep pointing out to go here first because if you don't you're not going to be able to find what you're looking for uh, which is this task status anyhow that's a quick demonstration of how to do a search against related objects you might use this to find all journal entries so for example you might have a search for incidents uh, through the related clause incidents on journals there is at least one journal and then the comparison is where and then you'll do um, journal any field contains and maybe you're looking for journals where someone uh, discussed Peregrine which is a software product um, or maybe you want to know where the journal entry contains Beyond Larry, which is my user ID. Um, and then I could find any journals that maybe I've changed a field, st uh, field and it's been um, tracked in the journals or perhaps I made a comment and it tracked that. Um, any number of things that you might look for. And this is how you would do it. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll run it and see if anything comes up. Hey, we have from March 22nd, we have a journal somewhere in here that has my name in it, as in all of them, because I am the by. And we said any field um, had Beyond Larry in it. So, uh, again, this is just a way to how you search uh, child objects usually children will show up down here being down here does not necessarily mean it's a child object um, but you can use these relationships and search from the incident context